Hey, this is Indigo Francis coming to you from the Mighty Midwest Music Showcase. Here, I got with me Drick. How's it going? It's going all right, man. Just coming out, man, to, you know, get my music out there and, you know, let people know I'm coming. Quit playing. Facts. You know, it's a, it's a movie. It's a movement right now, you know, in the city of Louisville. You know, it was I hard for me. You. Yeah, it was hard for me, you know, coming up in the city of Louisville, and I just, I'm just trying to share my story with the world right now. Okay, so can you tell me who are your influences? Well, who's been your influences? Uh, I always liked um, rap music since I was little, or, you know, just different things. I used to rap, you know, a Master P, Silk, uh, you know, then to Jeezy, Boosie, 50 Cent, you know, all type of gangster music because that's the, that's the life I live. Now, how long have you been rapping? Uh, probably about um, 10 years now. But I'm uh, really just now, I'm really starting to take it serious and, you know, push, push me as a product. Now, I want to ask you, when you do your music and your fans listen to your music, what do you want them to learn from your music, from your lyrics, from how you carry yourself as an artist? Uh, I just want I just want everybody to to know that you know you can do what you want to do, no matter what type of struggle you came from, what type of background you came from. If you put your mind to it, you can do whatever you want to. I always wanted to do music, uh, you know, be a center of a, you know the audience, and you know I always wanted the people to watch me. So this is something I wanted to do right here. Now, you said you've been rapping for almost 10 years now. So, if you could look back on three years ago from now, how do you think your music has helped you grow as a person? <laughs> three years ago, uh, I was probably incarcerated. Well, I was incarcerated, you know, writing on my little notepad my, uh, in my cell just thinking of a way to better my life instead of doing the things that I've always been doing in the streets. You know, I done seen a lot in my city. It's, you know, it's a whole lot of tragedy in my city each and every day. So, so I try to put, you know, move, transition into something else, and which is music, which is something I like since I was a kid. So, you know, it's LBM everything, and that's the movement, and I'm going to keep on pushing it. And I'm from Louisville too, so I already know like everything that's going on. So with all the craziness, like from homicides to just everything, do you think that your music could help people, like make them, like give them the motivation to do better in life too as well? Since, I mean, it sounds like, you know, you've had some downfalls, but look at you now, like you're standing 10 feet tall now, you know? So do you think that your music can help people, other people like that? Yeah, because I'm always, I'm always in the community every day. And, you know, when I walk around kids, you know, they, they really look, they look up to me. You know, they, they ask me about my music before an adult will, you know. You know, they ask to look it up on YouTube and things like that. So, you know, the... The kids just like to see somebody doing something productive, something different, and that's, that's, I feel like that's what I'm bringing to the table, something different that, you know, kids from the projects, growing up in the projects, didn't see. Okay. Now, is this, is Cincinnati your first time going out of town to showcase your music? Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, I've only uh, been out for about seven months, so I'm just really now starting my movement. I mean, movement. that's okay. You know, you're out, so you know, that's cool. Ain't too many people heard my music, but I know it's, you know, dope. I know it's crack, so, you know, I know people's going to feel it. So mm. I'm just going to keep it, keep it coming, man. Mm. Now, I actually got to witness you in action when you did complain. So can you tell me exactly what that song was about? Uh, it's just about, you know, you know, 502, 
come up. I know you've been hearing about that. And it's about people supporting each other that's trying to do the same thing. And me, I'm a supporter of everything. If I know you, if you're rapping, you know, if I know you, I'm, su I'm supporting your music, uh, any local thing. And, and I just feel like sometimes, you know, in my city that, you know, people need that support. And I feel like, you know, quit playing. It's my turn, so you're going to need to support it or you're going to hate. You excited for tonight? You nervous? No, I ain't nervous. I, I ain't never been nervous for a performance, so oh. it's just, it's natural to me. It's natural to my guys, LBM Duty, LBM Gusto. Okay. Right there. Got the whole crew. <laughs> no, got my, my fellas with me. Yeah, free whole thing, free dine, you know. Okay, so can you give me a little tease on what song you're going to do tonight? Or that I wait? Uh, I'm going to do my uh, single, Facts. Go check out the video on YouTube, Drick Facts, D-R-I-C-K, Facts. And subscribe to me on YouTube, Drick. And, you know, you can be checking out for my upcoming events, upcoming things that I'm doing. Follow me on Facebook, LBM Drick. Instagram, DrickFade89. You know, if you want to follow me, then that's how you get in touch with me. I, you know, I'm always a social network away, so, you know, holler at me. All right. Well, there you guys have it. Fucking get my money, thinking without the same shit. The game switch, niggas be dropping.